Hi guys, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. Uh, this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the fire signs. This is a weekly, timeless, general message. So whenever you see this, this is when you meant to see it. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, so you've got the Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Devil. Okay. Hmm, so... Uh, the Seven of Cups is about um, confusion, it's about uncertainty in your life, like you looking at maybe too many options, um, you might be feeling overwhelmed by options or choices. Um, it could also be about illusions or being pulled like in different directions. So, so there's a sense of feeling lost because of it. Um, maybe you are unsure of what's real and what's not, or um, you're having a hard time making a decision. So, um, yeah, I feel like there's no need to like rush into anything, especially when things feel unclear, you know, it's about taking the time to figure out what truly matters here and, you know, what is just a distraction because, uh, the seven of cups is, could be about distractions, you know? Um, anyway, so the two of cups is about intense emotions, you know, it's love, it's connection. Um, it doesn't have to be with a romantic partner, it could be friends, it could be whatever the case is. Um, and I feel like this is kind of like a, there's a special kind of bond that makes you feel understood, you know? So this week you might find yourself caught up in those feelings, whether it's uh, romantic, whether it's, you know, just a deep connection with someone important to you. So, you know, it's, it's also, there's also this energy of being swept up in that moment. You know, it's like everything else fades away when you, you were this person. So it feels very powerful, you know, but also very tender, you know, um, it's something to nurture, to appreciate, you know, there's a lot of intensity here. Um, yeah. So, and with the devil card here, I feel like, uh, the devil speaks about indulgence, speaks about temptation, uh, addictions, you know, things that hold us back and maybe even overdoing it a little bit. Um, surface pleasures, you know, whether it's partying, overindulging, you know, whatever, alcohol, sex, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but anyway, so, you know, it, it's things that feel good in the moment, but they might not be the healthiest in, in the long run. So, um, yeah, I feel like I don't, I'm not really getting a bad vibe from this, you know, all together like this, just because this could also be about, you know, we all have a drink here and there. We all you know, <laughs> indulge in all kinds of pleasures here and there. Um, I just feel like this is about maybe um, you might be feeling that pull to like let loose and, you know, enjoy your life. But it's, I feel like this is kind of like just a reminder, like just be more mindful, um, you know, where the line is between fun and something that could potentially hold you back, you know. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily about avoiding that pleasure. It's just more about being aware of what, what is driving you, you know, um, why are you feeling this intensity? Um, are you chasing something because it's kind of, it just feels good for now, you know, just try to see the bigger picture here, you know, or is that, is it something that's truly fulfilling to you? Um, and of course it's got to make sense, right? Um, I'm sure people that take drugs, find it fun and it's nice in the moment but in the long run it's not really healthy for us so those are the kind of things like if, if it's a relationship if you're like being swept up in a in a relationship with someone or or just like you a one night stand or whatever the case is and are you is it do you see this you know is there longevity in this or is it kind of just being swept up in those emotions you know um so yeah so i feel like this um overall like this it's it's just about navigating through that confusion especially with the seven of cups here and just being more mindful about what you're overindulging um so and now would be a good time to stay grounded um yeah and and still while still i'm 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 i'm, I'm being um it's it's like i have to keep i have to say this that it's not a bad thing you know, you can still allow yourself to experience the highs and joys, you know, the, the highs and joys of life. But just remember that balance because it's a beautiful energy. It's just it can be, you know, the potential of it.
I hope it's making sense and I'm all over the place here. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again next time.